Hi, I'm Grace Judson, and I am here to help new managers become good leaders. And one of the biggest challenges that new managers face is learning to think strategically. In fact, a lot of my students and clients tell me that they aren't actually even sure what strategy really means, never mind how to think about it or apply it in practice. So that's what we're going to dive in today, and I am really glad you're here watching because it is an important topic. I'll say more about that in just a second, but first you should know that I was in management and executive leadership for over 16 years before I left the corporate world to start my training and coaching business in 2005. So yeah, I've seen strategy from a lot of different perspectives, some good, some not so good. <laughs> and I have also seen what happens when managers don't learn to think strategically. A lot of new managers don't realize just how important it is to understand strategy. I conducted an informal but surprisingly interesting and revealing survey of C-level executives, senior managers, and executive coaches, and I asked them one simple question. What's the biggest challenge in their experience for new managers? Now, based on how I've introduced this, you probably know what I'm going to say, but I want to pause here for a minute and ask you this question. When you were first promoted into management, what did you feel like your biggest challenge actually was? Leave me a comment below and let me know. And unless you really mean it, don't say strategy, okay? Because I'll bet it was something more along the lines of communication, delegation, how to give feedback, how to stay friends with my team, can I still go out to happy hour with my team, and so on, right? So while you're at it, while you're leaving me that comment, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Click the notifications bell so you're informed when I release a new video every Wednesday for new managers who want to become good leaders. Okay, so back to that survey. Here's the thing. I actually expected those senior leaders to say one of those things I just listed, giving feedback, communication, delegation, all of those good things, but they didn't. Instead, every single one of them, 100% of them, unanimously, and yes, I'm being redundant in order to emphasize this, but they all said strategic thinking, every one of them completely independently, because like I said, this was just a random informal survey. So I know that strategic thinking may not be on the top of your list of things to learn, but it should be. And hopefully now you understand why I'm saying that. Let's start by defining what strategy actually is, because like I said, a lot of people, even at more senior levels are not necessarily clear, and it's easy to get it mixed up with a bunch of other things, including tactics. So one way to look at this is a definition I use when I teach a strategic planning workshop, which I often do at the beginning of every year. Strategy is a fully aligned statement of where you want to go and why, providing absolute clarity about what you need to do as well as what you need to not do or stop doing. Another definition, um, one that you might call sort of more emotionally based or feelings based is this. Strategy is a fully aligned statement of purpose that points the way to a more beautiful and complete representation of what the business is and strives to do in the world. The thing to recognize here is that strategy is not a to-do list, it's not a project, and it's not even a goal. It's an outline that defines the purpose and direction of the organization, the department, the team, or even an individual person. From there, you create the goals and the projects and the to-do list, and those are the tactics. Tactics being the stuff you need to do to get where your strategy is pointing. Um, I've got an article that gives some examples of how all this works that will probably help, and I'll leave the link down below in the video description for you to look at after you finish watching. So recognize that to understand strategy, to think strategically, you have to look away from your to-do list. And yes, I know that's hard when you've got a million and one things to take care of. You're trying to figure out how to do all of that and attend all the meetings that are probably on your calendar. But it's important. If 
every senior manager and executive I talked to said it's important. You don't have to believe just me. It's important. So do you know what your company's strategy is? How about your department strategy? If you don't know, don't feel bad because you're not alone in that. I would say that many people within organizations don't know. And it should be simple enough to find out. So ask your boss, read your company's website, find out. And then once you know what it is, think about this. How does what you do each day fit into that strategy? How do you, how do the projects that you and your team are working on move the company closer to the objective defined by the strategy? Everything you do should be aligned with the strategy. That's why strategic thinking is so important because strategic thinking helps you make decisions about what to do and how to do it. <laughs> There's a funny story I wrote about a while ago. I'll leave that, the link to the article down below as well. But basically it was literally about cutting up tomatoes and it references goals, not strategies, but it's the same kind of thing. The point the story makes is that if you don't know what you're aiming at, you don't know how to do the things that you're doing in order to be as effective as possible in getting there. Basically, the punchline of the story is that if you don't know whether you're cutting up tomatoes for salad or sandwiches, you've got a good chance of getting chunks of tomato that won't fit on your sandwich or slices that fall apart in the salad. So yeah, the point is, again, you need to know what you're going toward in order to get there in the best possible way. So look at the context of everything. Ask yourself this very simple question. What happens after this is done? What can I do to make sure that this thing that I'm working on is completed in a way that supports the overall strategic goals of my team, my department, and the company as a whole? I will guarantee you that if you start thinking this way, you'll find yourself making decisions more easily and they will be better decisions. And you'll start to see things that you can do differently or that you can guide your team to do that will make your boss notice that you are a strategic leader. And that, my friend, is a great way to advance your career. So, if you like this video, you know what to do, right? Before you run away to start learning more about strategy, not to mention reading the articles and other material that I've left down below, click that thumbs up like button and be sure to subscribe for more tips and ideas for new managers who want to be good leaders. And please leave me a comment or a question. Let me know about any aha moments you had or a question that came up as you thought about strategy and how it works in your company and in, on your team. And finally, one more thing. If you're a new manager who wants to become a good leader, check out my program, Empowered Leadership. It's an eight module breakthrough program to supercharge your leadership career. But seriously, it has everything you need to know, including strategy and a lot more to lay a really strong foundation for your management and leadership skills and therefore for your career. So there we have it. I'll see you next time in the next video. Take care.